Phone Calls, written by Pink Imagines, on Tumblr. Christmas break. Usually a good thing. You get to see family, don't have to go to school, and you get that great holiday cheer. But this time, something was missing. You were sitting in your family's cottage. It was a big house where all the relatives met for Christmas break. It was very nice, and genuinely aesthetically pleasing, but something was missing. For the past year, you had started dating this boy, Denki Kaminari. Sure, he was a total dork at times, but something about him made you feel so valid and nice. Of course, he wasn't with you for the break. It was a family event, and he had his own things to do. So you were sitting in front of your phone, debating on whether or not you should call him. Would it be weird? You didn't want to seem like you were too clingy, but you also didn't want to seem like you didn't care. Maybe you should send him a text. Your phone buzzed, as if it had been reading your mind. With one look, you could see it was a text from Kaminari. Hey, can I call you? Your heart skipped a beat. What did he want? Had something happened? Yeah, sure. You waited for a while until it started ringing. How long were you supposed to wait? Three buzzes? Hey, you smiled. Hi, how are you? His voice gave away that he was as well smiling. I'm good. I'm good. You? Um, you wanted to talk? You captured your bottom lip between your teeth to try to stop your smile from widening. Uh, yeah, I, um... He sighed. No, I just kinda wanted to hear your voice. Oh. You smiled so bright that your cheeks started hurting. It's nice to hear your voice too. I... I hope this doesn't sound weird, but I really can't wait to see you again. <laughs> he let out a boyish chuckle. No, that doesn't sound weird. I really want to see you too. You smiled and held the phone closer to you. Hey, Kaminari! Are you coming, bro? You heard what you thought was Kirishima's voice in the background of the call. Kaminari shouted after taking the phone further away from his head. Uh, I need to go. That's fine. We could, um, maybe call each other later? You asked. For sure. I'll call you when I get back. Promise. He said sweetly. Sounds good. You tried to contain your happiness. Um, bye. Later that evening, when you had just gotten into bed, your phone started buzzing. You looked to the caller ID and saw that it was Kaminari again. Just his face made you smile, and you immediately answered. Huh! You called! You exclaimed. I promised, didn't I? He said with a smoother voice than before. Did I wake you up? No, I was just going to sleep. But we could talk, you said in a more hushed voice. I just have to keep it down so that no one hears me. Are you sure? I don't want you to get sleep deprived. He uttered with a worried tone. But I want to talk to you. You admitted, but a yawn came out of your mouth at just the right time. You should probably get some sleep. <sighs> Kaminari sighed. I want to talk to you too, but it's way more important that you rest. Alright, fine. I love you. That just slipped out. Good night. 
and you didn't even realize. It was quiet on the other line. Oh my god! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to say that! I... I love you too, baby! You could tell by his voice that he was currently wearing a wide grin on his face. Sleep well. I'll shoot you a text tomorrow, okay? Sounds good. You held your breath. Good night, Angel. He said sweetly. Good night, Kaminari. You smiled lovingly. Once Kaminari hung up his phone, his friends around him finally let out their breath and stared at him with their mouths agape. What? He asked. You? Them? How? Sero tried to make sense of it all, because in his mind, how could someone so sweet fall for someone so dense? <laughs> I didn't know you were romantic! Kirishima laughed. I thought you just had flirts! Oh, shut up! They're special! Kaminari smiled to himself. Somebody's, Somebody's in, in love! love. The next morning, you sat at the breakfast table, scrolling through your phone and eating some cereal when your phone buzzed. A notification from your messaging app appeared. Good morning! It came from Kaminari. You smiled as you read the message until another one popped up. Angel! Your eyes widened as you almost fell out of your chair, clumsily trying to regain posture again. Oh, what are you doing? Are you okay? Your mother asked from the kitchen, looking at your slightly flustered face. Nothing! You choked out. I'm fine! You watched as your mother smiled and turned back towards the kitchen, continuing to clean the dishes. You looked back to your phone, typing away a response, smiling. Mm -hmm. Good morning. <laughs>